I'm Ian Boyd and I work for Articology uh, and we're here in Sandown Bay on the Isle of Wight, on the east coast of the Isle of Wight. Um, and Articology is um, it's an unusual company, it's a research organisation but it is also a prototyping organisation so we design and we build objects so architectural objects, structural objects, engineering objects really that are designed quite specifically to attract wildlife. So these are built things that you could use in a building or engineering project but their purpose is to attract and keep wildlife. So one of the best examples of what Articology is all about really are these artificial rock pools which are called vertipools which is a, a title that Nigel George invented and Nigel really um, invented these things. So it was an original idea was that faced with what's called coastal squeeze, so the reduction in the amount of intertidal space there is as sea level rises, the bit between a sea wall and low tide gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Eventually it disappears, but even before it disappears there's just less of it. So can we take some of those features from the foreshore and hang them on the sea wall? And if we were going to do that, how would we do that? Um, what would it look like? Well, how would we need to design that? And that's where vertipools came from. So they're essentially a pool at the top, but in order to make that work, it has to be part of a bigger structure, and that bigger structure is the vertipool. But if you're going to make a bigger structure, then every part of it needs to be delivering some advantage for wildlife. And that's the key thing, really, with art ecology, is nothing is wasted. Every part of the surface, the outside, and the inside of the pool is useful for wildlife. So some wildlife will stick on it, some will live in it, some will even live behind it. But every part of this thing is functioning, is delivering some gains for wildlife. So although the concept is incredibly simple, really, it's taking a rock pool, hanging it on a wall, both in terms of construction, engineering and installation, and in terms of the fine tuning of the design, there's a huge amount of work sitting behind that concept. I'm Nigel George, I'm a director of Articology. Every vertipole has a stainless steel frame and armature, so this is what gives it its strength. These bits are, you know, end up inside the pool. Once we've, you'll see when I start putting the concrete in, how they get completely covered in and disappear inside the pool. But it's really those that give it its strength and keep it on the sea wall because some of these pools are in big sea. I mean, you know, where we're going to install this one, it's it's the English Channel, so then it gets pretty big, get big seas, so they have to be able to survive. Um, so, okay, now that is ready to go to the next stage. Oh, I just put in now, look what we're going to use good old bubble wrap, ordinary bubble wrap. There you go, so now we're going to make up some concrete. So concrete is a mix of sand and stones and cement, or, or a cement of some kind or other. So we're just using a, a grit really. So it's, you can see that it's got, it's got sand and it's got quite small stones in it as well. And this will make quite fine grey concrete. The stones and the sand have mixed nicely into the cement. It's all one colour. So I think what I'll do now, I'll start putting that into the, into the mould. I, I think vertipools are a success. I mean, um, we're part of, as extraordinary though it may, it seems extraordinary to us living in this little shed by the sea, that we're part of quite a small club. There's only a few organisations really in the world who are working in this area, which is to build things for wildlife that are part of human habitats. And we're very interested in human ecology, habitats for humans, the places that we live in. We are biology, we are wildlife, even though we don't think of it that way. And so translating that into the world, the natural world and the interface between the two is everything that we're interested in, in, in art ecology. And so far, what we've done has worked. It's worked on both those levels. It's benefited wildlife, it's delivered gains for biodiversity, and it has stimulated a whole range of new discussions, partnerships and collaborations in the human world. That's all of the, the mix in into the mould now, and it's just a case of 
It's, it's a very kind of tactile process because, I mean, they literally are handmade and it's all about feeling the material and where it's at in its curing sort of phases. At the moment, it's still very squidgy and I can work it easily. And in a minute, that will start to change and it will get sort of stiffer and harder to move around. But to get the whole process done, I need to catch it at all stages of that setting process. It's Nigel's skill in making, but also his artistic sensibility. So he's an extraordinary sculptor. Um, and he brings those skills to the construction of every pool. So although it's a basic shape, and we know it works, it has to be able to work in the sea. The idea of allowing this horizontal plane to migrate to a vertical plane, essentially kind of creating a block of flats for things that normally live this way, that way. The vertebrals are being considered as a way of bringing ecological gain to you know any kind of any kind of infrastructure work that's going on so we're really pleased about that because that's kind of what we hoped um, to start to create some of the detail that we that we know kind of works and it's all very organic um, and recognizable almost you know you kind of see these shapes in coral reefs So that's it, yeah. It's all done. Ready for sea life. We are about to uh, get a vertipole out of its mould. You can see now where that was just half an hour ago it was wet and squadgy, is now gone completely hard. So I'm just going to tip that up onto the table, separate the mould. So this is called striking the mould. And now you can see the, the bubble wrap that I put in earlier is stuck and carefully. There's a, obviously plastics are in the media as being a problem, rightly so, if it's single use. But look at the detail that it produces bubble wrap plastic when you use it on concrete. And what we know is that these work very well and I can reuse that. I'll reuse that lots of times. And the detail on the outside of these pools is as important as what goes on inside. So if I lift that back up the right way again, you can see that's how it sits on the sea wall. It will just be fixed like that. And that's what we're going to do next. We'll go and install it in the intertidal. It's extremely important to us that the work that we do in art ecology and through the deployment of vertipoles um, is something useful for people and attractive to people. Um, now sometimes the places where we put these pools just are going to be inaccessible. You may be able to see them from a distance, but you can still talk about them. And so just the very fact that vertipool is a thing a real object that we can photograph and that we can describe. It has an interesting name, it has an interesting story behind it. It's something that is already valuable in building what we might call a new public discourse. So we are not hopeless. The narrative around environmental collapse, the destruction of biodiversity, uh, the catastrophe that is facing it. Now, that's not to say that there are not massive issues. Climate change is very real. Sea level rise is very real. Two degrees C is probably unachievable. Even if it is, it will be a different planet to the one we recognise now, and that will be the case within a century. These are very, very big things. But it doesn't mean we can do nothing. And that kind of abandonment of intervention is something we are keen to fight against. And so, even in a small way, Art Ecology provides you a, a solution that you can say, well, look, here's a thing, we made a thing, wildlife really likes it. You can make a thing. There are things that we've done here that you can do in your garden. Uh, or we can share the idea. Perhaps you've got some ideas about how we can make this thing differently. And so talking about it, participating, collectively making things and testing them out in our world for the natural world 
can be done and that's what we want to do.